What's going on, everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. Okay, so this is for all my philanthropists, my many ph philanthropists in the Pan-African community that's in my subscriber base that want to actually do something, that want to donate to an actual program or, or actual project or something, right? So I'm about to, I'm soon going to make my way to Nigeria. And like I told you guys in the other video, I want to raise money to build a community solar-powered uh, water well, right? This water well will serve underserved people who don't have water, they don't have their own well in their communities, giving them access to fresh water, all right? I plan on purchasing a small piece of land or maybe putting it on the edge of my land to give access to the public, right? This would be strictly for the public to use as they will. Uh, to, to get this borehole done with the solar panels and all the technology involved, it's probably gonna cost around five to $6,000. That's how much I priced it out last time, last year. It could be more. It could be six to seven thousand dollars. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put only a PayPal and or Stripe QR code up here. What I want you to do, if you want to donate to that program, and what I'm going to do is I want to start it now because I'm I'm gonna head there and I'm gonna be there for quite a while and I want to see how much I can I can raise for this project at that time because I want to be able to record me doing it so you guys can see it happening in real in real time. That I'm doing what I say I'm gonna do. I think it's about time for me to step out there and uh, put myself in a situation where I'm asking my subscribers for money to do Pan African projects that they won't financially benefit from, but they can see me doing something for a community and they want to be a part of that because I'm not gonna financially benefit from from any of the money given to me uh, per this QR code for this particular uh, project. The only thing I take out of it is. If I have to go and travel, I'll take out a plane ticket money or some shit like that to, you know, to get there. I got to get there, right? And I got to eat, right? But that's minimal. But pretty much all of the, all the money given to me in this was going to go towards what it is. I want to do something small, right? So the small thing right now will be this solar-powered uh, communal water water um, borehole, right? And when I show that when you're giving me money for a project that it actually happens, I'll be able to build a certain level of trust. And then we can start doing bigger and better things once you see proof the concept. Okay. So this QR code, what I want you to put in it, what, what, should, what should be the solar, just put solar power, right? So when you send money, make sure if you, it has to be proper. I can't do cash app on this one because I can't, I can't collect money. I can't do anything with my cash app in Nigeria. I can do Stripe and I can do PayPal because those are international, right? I can, I can do those, right? So I prefer pay, even though I know here, y'all, some people don't like PayPal. If you don't, just do Stripe, right? If not, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Thank you anyway for your consideration, right? But we're gonna, I really wanna get this thing done. So let's see how much support we can build up for this. I'll be talking about it period, periodically in my videos, uh, campaigning for this directly, for this thing to get done. And I wanna see if I can get it done, all right? So anyway, I'm gonna put, Put the uh, QR code right here. If it's not probably, it's probably already right there. It probably was up there as soon as you played the dag on video. But it, but make sure, make sure so I can keep everything itemized and I can keep track of what money is going to which. Because I'm gonna be doing this tactic for several other things. Because I'm gonna go to Africa. I got, I got a smooth plan. When I get there, I'm gonna see if I can find anybody that got any talent and give them an opportunity to make a little bit of money from my video and to expose them to my community, right? So maybe if I find somebody that can sing, right? Somebody can that can dance, somebody that got any type of talent, right? And I'll put them in front of you, right, and give them a little opportunity because I got sixty thousand subscribers. Let me try to leverage that to put somebody on front street that's trying to get on front street, right? And then I'll get they're gonna get eighty percent of whatever you guys donate. All right, I gotta get something because I'm gonna be producing it. I'm gonna make sure I get them out there. I'm gonna look for I'm finding. I gotta you know pay and make sure that everything looks real nice. But I want to give a, a a child an opportunity to maybe get a win, right? Because money goes a long way over there. And, and I'm gonna tell you, like a hundred dollars to them is like a thousand dollars to us. So imagine putting a hundred dollars in a child's hand just because they you know got a little bit of talent and they sang a little something or or you know or something like that you know they sang or they had a little poem and you guys were like oh and then you donate to them and i go to paypal transfer the money and i put that money in their pocket like for instance school fees something that they can barely afford right you're talking about a hundred dollars for a child to go to school it's possible that somebody can have enough talent and you can have enough care to take care of that person's school fees just because they did a video I'm talking about doing small little philanthropist things like that within my capacity because I'm not rich. I, I'm, I'm a normal person, right? I got to pay my bills like everybody else. But if I can benefit somebody to get a little small little win off a little video, then that's just to me, I say that's a win win situation right there. 
And by you doing that, it gets me out here doing things. I want to take control of my community and take control of my brand and I want to move up and elevate. I always try to elevate every year my YouTube channel. When I get to the year, I try to I try to reevaluate and edit and what can I do new and fresh to try to really benefit the community, you know, and, and, and use my and leverage my my subscribers into something positive that could be fun, entertaining and benefit everybody. So that's what I want to do. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to let you guys go. All right. If you guys, if you're not interested, don't worry. This is not a grift. If you believe if it, if it grift, then this is not for you because we're about to take some real philanthropist type action. And I got some real big plans in the future that I want to do with the money that I make from my own businesses in Africa, include my own hard earned money that I make. But I know there's a lot of people that wish they can reach out and touch somebody and make a difference. But sometimes they can't pick up and go or they have no other way to contribute, contribute to anything but to contribute to a cause. And if you guys trust me the way it seems like you guys trust me, then y'all would want to be a part of a, some causes that, that I believe are important for the black community in any way possible. Anyway, y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section. If y'all down, let me know. Tell me y'all supporting me in the comment section. If y'all down for this, if y'all y'all like where I'm going with this, y'all like the new direction that I'm going, let me know in the comment section. And if y'all got any ideas, something you want to see me do as far as videos since you know I'm asking for donations, y'all let me know and I'll take it into consideration if it went within my power, I make sure I do it. Anyway, that's all I gotta say is Afro Think Tank, learn some, teach some, I'm out. This solar powered well is specially designed to aid the farmers in this village by providing more than enough water for all of their crops and livestock, even during the dry season without any electricity. Each panel is 200 watts. Then it's attached to a pump. That pump can pump 5,000 liters every hour. Basically, it's unlimited amount of water for this entire village. That's incredible. This solar powered well is specially designed to aid the farmers in this village by providing more than enough water for all of their crops and livestock even during the dry season without any electricity. Each panel is 200 watts. Then it's attached to a pump. That pump can pump 5,000 liters every hour. Basically, it's unlimited amount of water for this entire village. That's incredible. <laughs>